Uh, hey there, fellows. So in today's episode, hopefully you guys dig the experiment we have in store for you. This should be pretty interesting. Now, if I could just tell you why this thought occurred to me in the first place. So I've actually seen a bunch of YouTube videos lately where cars that were converted to LPG would experience some leakage, resulting in the cylinder exploding, and all due to a gas leak. Anyway, so today we've made it to a training camp which belongs to the National Guard, located in Novosibirsk province. These guys turned out to be open to contact. They invited us over, we received all the necessary permits, and so today we'll be simulating an explosion caused by a gas leak. We've taken all the necessary precautions, and we're being supervised by true professionals. We can't go anywhere without getting their permission first. At least they let us walk over to the car to film this intro, though they did tell us to make it fast and get the hell out of here. Okay, so this car was converted to LPG back in 2007. It's got a cylinder installed in the trunk, which is standard fare. Right, so now we're gonna simulate a gas leak and the subsequent explosion. And after that, we look on to see what exactly happens to the car. I've seen some videos where people would... Anyway, the point is that this has been done before. But in a few of the videos I've seen, they'd take a car and place a regular gas cylinder inside. I'm assuming you know what I'm talking about. As for us, we're dealing with equipment that was actually meant to be installed in a car. Right, guys, enough chit-chat. I am keen to see where this goes. Let's do this. Can a leaking LPG tank cause your car to explode? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, so this Volga is packing your normal sort of LPG setup. As for the tank, well, I can't really read what it says on it, but I'm guessing the capacity is about 80 to 90 liters. Right now there's about 50 liters of gas in there. We decided that we shouldn't fill it to the brim. I mean, this is some seriously old equipment, which was made all the way back in 2007. Anyway, that should be just the right amount. So now we simulate a leak, ignite the gas, and then see what happens after that. Hopefully we see some fireworks. So we're going to be looking on from this here shelter. We're going to be hiding behind this barrier, which has a few windows, of course. So yeah, this is where we'll be observing what happens to the car. Now it's all a matter of giving it the green light. Anatoly, time to light up. Copy that. Now that was something else. Dayum. What's the situation? It looks like... There was a possibility that the car wouldn't catch fire at all. We were told that gas under such pressure would simply blow the fire out. That obviously didn't happen. Not bad. Then again, this is exactly what we came here to see. I have to say that from where I'm standing, that didn't look especially epic, I mean, it just blew up and that's that. As if the battery exploded or something.
All right, fellas, so here's what's up. A gas leak is actually a pretty terrifying prospect. Check out... Oh, shit. Look at what happened to the car. It's actually still a bit cranky. Anyway, the gas we had in there... We were expecting... I mean, we all had our own thoughts on what would happen. Some of us were even expecting the car to jump and do a flip. Others thought that nothing crazy would happen at all, that there wouldn't be enough oxygen for the gas to even ignite. The explosion wasn't particularly massive, but... This here piece... used to be part of the car. As for what's left in the trunk... Well, we can't verify that just yet. I mean, the car is still on fire. As soon as it burns out, though, we'll go over there and film the aftermath to show you guys what's up. Okay, fellas, let's have a closer look at the carnage. You know what? Yeah, we were able to get the gas to ignite. Big thanks to the guys working at this National Guard training camp. They did their job in the best way possible. And it all actually worked the first time around. The cylinder ruptured. And as soon as that happened, the explosion was actually so powerful that the rear divider came flying out through the windshield. The fuel tank is on the ground, the underbody is shot, the fuel tank actually also blew up. There was about maybe 10 to 15 liters of gasoline left in there, but that was enough. The trunk lid flew like 15 meters away, and it took a pretty curious path. So the trunk lid frame stayed put while the trunk lid itself is lying 15 meters away from us. The roof is folded, the door frames are all bent up. That was one hell of an explosion. So the point of this whole spectacle that we just put on wasn't to scare anybody. The thing is that when you have such equipment, you really have to keep an eye on it. As in bring it in for inspection, so that the pros who do this stuff for a living can have a look in order to detect any potential malfunctions. Anyway, convert your cars to LPG. It's not dangerous at all. Okay, fellas, we just took a closer look at all of this, and, well, we obviously did this on purpose. And that concludes today's experiment, which was quite successful. And that's all I have for you. Watch our videos, subscribe, leave some comments and suggestions. All right, catch you later.